Today, I want to show you how you can upgrade to Windows 11 entirely for free and also whether or not your PC meets the minimum system requirements. Obviously, it's better if your PC meets these system requirements, but if it doesn't, there's a workaround. Windows 11 officially released today on October 5th, and you can now upgrade to the release build. All right, let's check this out. Before we upgrade to Windows 11, you'll probably wanna check, is your computer even capable of running Windows 11? To find out, head to the following website. I've included a link right up above and down below in the description. Once you land on this website, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and there you'll see a link with the system requirements. You can manually check that, but it's easier just to download the PC Health Check app. When you run the app, it'll tell you if your PC qualifies. Here I downloaded and opened up the PC Health Check app, and it looks like my PC qualifies. If your PC does not qualify, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. You have two different options. The first option, you could simply stay on Windows 10. Microsoft has stated that they're going to continue supporting Windows 10 through 2025. So that's one option. But let's say that you really want Windows 11. You can get Windows 11 even if it states that your hardware is not capable of running it. And the workaround is you download the ISO. When you download the ISO, that'll bypass the system requirement checks. So are there any downsides? Well, Microsoft has stated that you might not get security or driver updates if you take this path. Now, it could be that Microsoft just said that to limit any liability by saying, hey, we'll support all PCs. So it's a risk you'll have to take, but there is a path to get Windows 11, and I'll walk you through how you can get the ISO at the end of this video. When you upgrade to Windows 11, it'll keep all of your different apps and files, so you shouldn't lose anything. That said though, before upgrading, it's always a good idea to make sure that you have a backup in place. You can simply back up all your files to an external hard drive, or as an alternative, and probably the easiest approach, is to use Microsoft's OneDrive. That's a cloud storage solution. If you're interested in how OneDrive works, you can check out the video right up above. With that now all out of the way, let's upgrade to Windows 11. To upgrade to Windows 11, click on your Start menu, then select Settings, then select Update and Security, and right up at the top, you should see whether you can upgrade to Windows 11. Simply click on download and install, and it'll take a few hours, but at the end of that, you'll have Windows 11. If your PC qualifies and you don't see a download and install option, or if your PC doesn't qualify, head to the following website. I've included a link right up above, and once again, down below in the description. On this website, you have three different options for installing and upgrading to Windows 11. The first one uses an assistant. This is probably the easiest path to take to install Windows 11. I'd recommend going with that approach. The second option allows you to create installation media. So let's say you wanna have a USB stick that you can use to install Windows 11 on a machine. You can go down that path. And the third option is to create an ISO. So if let's say your hardware does not support or is not capable of running Windows 11, you can go down this path. When you download an ISO, it'll just be a file with the extension .iso. You can then click on that file and that'll kick off the installation process. All right, well, hopefully you were able to upgrade your PC to Windows 11. To watch more videos with the best tips and tricks on Windows, check out the playlist right up above. Also, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.